All right, folks, you know what time it is again. Gear pack unboxing time. So I was supposed to be Tactical 3.0, uh, and this month's unboxing knife is the Smith's knife. Yeah, you'll have to forgive my filming angle and all this other stuff. I am doing with this with my phone stacked up on top of a peanut butter jar and some quarters to get this angle, so be happy. Be very happy. All right. There it is. That's no further delays. Tactical 3.0, box 82. There's the stuff. Pause it, read it. We'll go from there. I'll see if I can pull this out in a fairly decent order in a timely fashion. And I figured out a way of doing this, I think. Make things easier. Like that, like that. So we've got. Ooh, let's just start out with this Canadian military flag patch. All right, and that's a five nine or four ninety nine value. We've also got. Uh, I believe this is. Oh man, I put a lot of different things in here. Okay, along with all this other stuff. A lot of webbing and a lot of pouches here, not gonna lie, guys. Okay, well, this is definitely the Molly webbing. Is that supposed to be in there? Mm -hmm. Molly webbing binder buckle, supposed to be two of them. That looks like that. All right, all right. Carabiner buckle times two. It's got a twenty dollar value. Oh, and we finally found it. There's a gear pack sticker in here. That's the part I was trying to find. Sorry. There it is. Gear pack. One of their stickers. And then we've got the. Molly shotgun ammo pouch. I believe that's this guy right here. Just have a quick peek at that. Is I do like my shotguns. Mm. Get the garbage out of the way. Better than mill spec. I don't like I like hearing that. And there's the uh, write up that they did on the back. I'm not going to read it to you. You guys can read it yourself. You pass it there. You got Velcro. You know, snap tabs, and then a variety of different holders and everything for your shotgun shells. This is going to be awesome. This I would probably put with my uh, chuck kit, which is just the uh, basic mechanics bag. So there's your basic box right there. That's your $50 value, or your, sorry, your $25 value. Giving you a sixty dollar, and then uh, what do we got? What do we got? Coming up in our basic plus, we've got the ABKT Stinger Liner Locker. So I believe that's this guy right there. Yeah, if I read proper. Sometimes I don't. And this guy's got a value of thirty-five bucks. Oh, he's a cute little guy. I'm ever so dainty. A little stiff. But fairly small. Uh, a little boxy on the feel. A little bit of wiggle in that one. Lines up quite nice down the center on the... Well, not quite center. It's more to the left-hand side if you're looking at it. Straight down. As for closing, that's pretty easy, but a little bit of work and she'll open up pretty good. But that's from your Basic Plus, and that's the $50 value one. <clears throat> Next comes the Advanced Box at $100 with the Rothko Molly Padded Rifle Sling. Okay. I was thinking about a different sling for the shotgun. This might be the one to go on with.
and this has a value of thirty-three dollars. This stuff's going to be really hard to see here. I'm sorry, guys. How's that? You can see your molly webbing on the back. It's got some fairly firm padding in there. Say about a half a quarter inch. Weird buckle though, right on that point. But then you've got your attachments. You work great with those with the sling. But it's a sling nonetheless. And then you've also got the Rothko Canvas Military Tech. Alright, in black. Now we're going to move a couple of things just to make this easier for you guys to see. looks like a side, something you'd carry over a single shoulder. Sorry, my lighting isn't the greatest. But, by the looks of it on the inside here, you have a zippered pocket. You see your zipper here. I'd give it a, about four inches deep by about four and a half to five inches wide. And then just a wide open baggie in there. Everything zips up closed, so at least you can seal everything in, which is kind of nice. I like that aspect. And then with your flip over, I like these. You can actually tuck something in here sometimes if you get a little extension for this, a little extra chunk of Velcro. And then you've got your other pocket on the front. And that has a grand value of $36. So not bad, and this is your advanced package, and then what everybody sticks around for, the final of the ultimate box, the Gerber Downwind Paper with Sheath. And that's this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should be an interesting, definitely, you know, kind of got the old timer feel on it. Ooh, heat sheath too. Let's, uh, get this guy. And you know what, usually I do up some feather sticks or something like that. I didn't grab anything for wood, which is really weird. And here is a tactical box and everything else. I'm pretty sure I can find some. So I'll put that aside. Put that aside. Knock over a bunch of stuff. Is that ever neat? It's almost like a G10 handle on it. A little bit of twirling in the back. A little bit of twirling up on the front too. Neat notching. I guess if you want a baton or anything, I do like the fact that you can finger in and give you that nice and better grip right there. Spine's not quite a good like it's a fairly solid but it's rounded, not quite a 90-90. Case is kinda neat, or sheath as they call them. Whatever you want to fucking call it, I don't care. I take the plastic out. And that's it. That's as far in as it wants to go. I don't like ramming these things because you never know what might be doing in there. Now that might not be 100% proud. No, no, I don't like that. You see what I mean? It's kind of... Oh, there goes the back of the case. See how that worked? Not quite tight enough. She goes right through. Well then. Shows you how sharp that is. We don't need to use a feather stick on that. But, uh... Yep, yep. Oh, oh. Now it slides in nice. All it takes is just messing something up. So if you guys know of any good canvas repair stuff, 
throw that in the comments if you could please and uh yeah yeah oh hang on let's twig out this little guy see how she feels for a little chunk of pine one by four that was left over you guys know the stuff i use but oh yeah oh you know what i mean Feels actually pretty good that way. Uh, not too hot or anything. You don't really feel the tab here. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love that. Anyway, you lose a few and you lose a few. Alrighty, that just peels out right away. Definitely got a neat uh, curvature in there. You can really. As you can see, you can really dig into it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. I said, if you guys uh, know how to fix canvas, or know what I could use to fix that, she's definitely sharp, boys and uh, girls. But, uh, all right. See you on the next one. Ultimate box next month. Stick around for that one, or Elite Box, or whatever the heck they want to call it. And we'll see you guys, folks, later. Have a great one.